Hello YouTubers, Hammy Tech, Hammy Tech Noid here again. And uh, today we are in the green screen man cave. You can see I got the green screen there. But today I'm going to spend a little time uh, demoing this new piece of equipment that I got. Uh, a DBX 3BX DS. Uh, DS stands for the digital series although this is a completely analog device it has no digital conversion going on inside it it was just brought out by DBX uh, marketing d during the time when CDs were taking over and digital series was just a uh, catchphrase for them to uh, market their latest version of their expander compressor so um, this is the DS series and it's a very interesting device um, it is a three band dynamic range controller uh, not just an expander but a controller because it does both compression and expansion plus it has impact restoration which is a very interesting effect um, it adds more kick to the drums and vocals and anything that has a staccato effect it will definitely bring it out um, so what I'm going to demo is I've got uh, my Tascam DR40 here is recording the audio directly out of the DBX so you're not going to hear the microphones uh, picking up any sound you're going to hear a direct feed from the DBX and then you can play it over your speakers over your loudspeakers in your house your computer speakers whatever and you can hear the definite effect that the DBX is putting on the music and what I've done is I've taken a selection of a song that is not my song but is somebody's song you might recognize um, but it's not for uh, infringement purposes, no copyrights uh, or infringement is intended. But I just selected a small portion of the song and hopefully YouTube won't flag me for it. But it's just a, a repeat of the clip. So here's the song and this is without any effect on the DBX. Okay, what you are hearing there in the background is the music without any effect on it. Now I'm going to turn some knobs on the DBX and you're going to hear the effect it plays. Now this knob here is called transition level and believe it or not on most DBX units it has an effect uh, but I can't see any change on this model here so I am just going to leave it in the center. Now for dynamics also this one control here this one controls the compress and the expand so if you turn it to the now you see there's over here there's a little light see if I turn it to the left of the detent there's a center detent right there if I turn it to the left of the detent it says compress if I turn it to the right it says expand so I'm going to do just a simple demo of the, the compress and you can hear that the sound just kind of flattens out. There's no real dynamics going on it. Even though the lights are indicating some change, it's mostly just flat dynamics. It's not changing much volume levels at all. Okay, so I'm going to put it back into the null position. And now, this is where you hear the big difference. I'm going to put it into expand. Okay, and you can see, you can hear the music kind of spreading out. You know, you hear the the drums and the guitar and everything is much more pronounced now. You can hear the individual notes and so forth. So it's not as flat, it has much more dynamics and that is turned all the way up, okay? Now where the really, where it really seems to shine in making a difference in the sound is when you kick on the impact restoration, which is this knob here, and I've got it turned all the way down, but I'm going to turn it up now and you're going to hear some increase in the impact of the drums and you can really hear the drums kicking it okay and now listen to that and I'm just turning it a little bit past center part and it's it's like someone got into the mixer and turned up the drums you know it's like listen to that it's really attack on that really sharp attack on the drums okay and that's 
That's what the impact restoration does there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it that I'm going to leave it play that way so you can hear the effect of the expansion. Now this knob here, I don't know why they added it. It's it's called an ambient knob. And uh, what it does, if you, it's got a detent as well. It's got a center position, which is off. And then to the left, it turns everything into mono. You heard the stereo effect went away there. So I turned it all the way to the left, and that is mono. And now the center position is stereo normal. And now this all the way to the right is almost like turning on a uh, sonic hologram. The expansion is for the stereo effect to be increased. So I turned it all the way to the right and you're hearing a, an enhanced stereo effect. So I'm going to put it back in the middle because that's where normal stereo would be. But you see the, the expansion effect on this part of the music is really something. The drums just kick right out and it's more noticeable when you take it away. See, you take it away and there is just no beat to the drum at all. But then you add it, it's like someone went in and turned up the, the drum on the mixer. It's like really awesome. So this is my demo of my DBX3BX DS. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a, a more in-depth demo than I'd ever seen online. Everybody else just usually plays music and turns the knobs without any sort of explanation. But uh, this is the DBX3BX DS. One of their later models that was a, a very supreme model, a very good operating model and worthwhile to your stereo if you like to enhance the dynamics. So I'm going to stop the music now. Yeah, the music has stopped. And you see when the, when the uh, DBX is in the null mode, there's no activity at all. The, the music stops the activity. And with the uh, expansion in the center place, you can see that the, all the lights go off. So, yeah, this is my demo, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, until later, next time, Hamitech is signing off for now. So, see you later next time. Bye.